I didn't know about business. I didn't know about sales, you know, and it was at Massage Envy that I started to learn about those things. It was watching their sales process. I moved up to a leadership position. So I started reading leadership books, um, you know, how to, ha how to communicate, have conversations with people. I started reading customer service books, right? I wanted to, you know, anything I get my hands on to like serve my customers better because I, I, I see people all the time. And even there, it was like, they always would say to themselves, I deserve better than this. And they would have this attitude, like this opportunity, yeah. you know, cause we started at 15 bucks an hour when I was there and they come in like this, this is below them. And that shows up in their attitude. And then they would fail. Like they wouldn't grow a clientele. And I'm like, I operate under the, um, under the, uh, the thought that I'm going to do my best to grow my clientele here and prove to myself that if I can at least retain my clients here, I can do that outside on my own. You know, 100%. even if I don't know how to get people in the door, if I can retain the people that I do have, then I have a better chance of success outside of here. So um, I still wasn't good at sales. That, that wasn't that good at sales, but I was really good at service. I was really good at customer service. Even as a lifeguard, I was highly focused on serving the customers. We would greet them at the door, um, at the gate coming in. I would, how many chairs do you guys need today? Right. I'm like, do you guys want shade in the morning? Do you want shade in the afternoon? Right. The sun's going to be over here. The shade is, this area is going to be shaded, you know, about three o'clock. Like I knew where the, where the, cause the, the tower would provide shade over the pool. I knew where the shade was going to be at what time, you know, I would set, set their chairs up, get them a table, put their towels on it. We'd make tips like, so I was always really big on service, even before the massage. Um, so that kind of translated over there in Massage Envy, but the sales skills came later. Um, yeah, and, and and that's pretty important stuff, right? Like like when you when you look at a business, uh, the, I, I read somewhere once they said that one way you can hate your a hobby that you enjoy. Like for example, let's just say somebody's passionate about massage or somebody's passionate about skincare. 